Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Csaba Jeneki, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Szeged in Hungary, and I'm also the principal investigator uh, of the photoelectrochemistry research group, uh, which is supported by uh, the Hungarian Academy of Sciences uh, within the framework of its Momentum Excellence program. Uh, we carried out uh, this research in collaboration uh, with the research group of Professor Krishna Rajeshwar at the University of Texas at Arlington, and. Uh, our research groups uh, are interested to convert carbon dioxide uh, to useful fuels uh, such as hydrocarbons uh, or alcohols. Uh, to achieve this goal we are using uh, renewable energy sources, most importantly the energy of sunlight. Uh, using solar energy uh, to convert carbon dioxide to products uh, has multiple benefits, uh, most importantly that while uh, we reduce the amount uh, of an environmentally harmful material, uh, we also generate uh, useful products uh, by using uh, renewable energy sources. Uh, this has uh, dual uh, benefits. Uh, number one is that uh, we can contribute to uh, a more sustainable uh, chemical industry if we obtain ca chemically relevant products uh, via this approach. And number two is that uh, we can store uh, renewable energy in the form of chemical bonds. That's why we also call these materials solar fuels. In the framework of uh, uh, the research published in this perspective, uh, we discuss uh, some of the common features of electrochemical and photoelectrochemical conversion of carbon dioxide to fuels. Uh, we study one special uh, electrode material, namely uh, copper copper oxide heterojunctions, because it seems that this material is unique uh, in the sense that it is able to generate a wide sort of uh, reduction products uh, during both the electrochemical and photoelectrochemical uh, reduction procedure. Uh, we have found that this unique behavior is rooted in uh, morpho both morphological and chemical uh, circumstances. Uh, most importantly, the formation of copper nanocubes on the surface of the copper oxide electrode. To evaluate our electrode materials and to study uh, CO2 conversion uh, on an irradiated semiconductor electrolyte interface, uh, we use a custom designed two compartment photoelectrochemical cell uh, where the anode and the cathode compartments are separated with an FEO membrane. Uh, to assess the photo-driven processes which occur at the electrode-electrolyte interface, we use a solar simulator, which is actually a lamp, uh, which mimics uh, the spectrum of sunlight. The most important uh, electrochemical method, how we assess the potential dependent electrochemical behavior of these electrodes, is photovoltaimetry, uh, where we record the current response of our electrode material under periodic uh, solar irradiation. To evaluate uh, the products formed uh, during the electrochemical and photoelectrochemical irradiation, uh, we use different analytical techniques to track uh, the, the formation of these uh, chemicals. For the liquid phase products, we use a gas chromatograph coupled uh, with a mass spectrometer uh, where we can detect the different alcohols, aldehydes, uh, and ketones uh, which are formed uh, during the photo reduction. As for the gas phase products, uh, we use a state-of-the-art gas chromatograph, which is directly coupled to our photoelectrochemical cell, uh, to follow the formation of hydrogen, uh, carbon monoxide, and different hydrocarbons. One of the most important findings of our research was that the, the electrochemical and photoelectrochemical conversion of carbon dioxide to fuels on copper copper oxide electrodes have very similar chemical and morphological underpinnings and we believe that by rational design of these uh, heterojunction uh, electrode surfaces we'll be able to tailor uh, the catalytic activity of these materials.